Good morning, morning guys. Welcome back to CNC Hi. Live. <laughs> uh, he just likes to joke around a lot. Iris says good morning. Yeah. She slept all night last night. You know what's so funny about Iris? She's a good sleeper at night, but during the day, she's a whole different baby. <laughs> She does not like to sleep during the day. She just takes like 10, 15 minute naps and then she's like up and then takes another 10, 15 minute nap and then she's up like this constantly all throughout the day. Yep. Literally last night though, she slept for 10 hours. She slept from 10.30 to 8.30 nonstop, didn't wake up once. I was really proud and of her. And she says, that's all you get. And that's during all the you day, get. you're gonna carry me. I can't ask for much, you know. <laughs> I, get a, I, get a, I get a nighttime sleeper, but a daytime sleeper zippy. But it is hard to get things done because of that. Yeah, especially now that we're almost close to a Putting the house up on sale, so we have to get it done, like in a couple of days, because we are leaving to Tennessee to see uh, Cassie's family. Yep, we're gonna go see little Jamie. Everyone's gonna meet Iris, who hasn't met her yet. Who, who needs to meet her? Brian, um, just Jimmy. Brian, the bull, um, Holly, Brian, Holly. Ollie, and Jimmy have not met Iris, and obviously we have not met little Jamie. So we got to get out there. But yeah, like Carl said, we only have a couple more days before this house is up on the market. So we are on Operation. Get this house ready. Yeah, and it is pretty hard with two kids. Um, just one kid, Jackson, because as we're cleaning, he's taking stuff out. And just for example. And Jackson, you need to get down. Get down from there. <laughs> get down from there. <laughs> he's a no nap, so he's with us all day. He's actually way easier when I do outside stuff, because outside stuff, he goes out there and helps me, and he's actually a really good helper. Are you gonna go outside and help Daddy? What do we need to do, Jackson? <laughs> You're gonna clean up poo poo, that's right. No, we're not picking up poo poo today. We are, um, actually today I'm putting um, red mulch under the trampoline. I already put weed blocker and everything, but it was raining last night. It was raining all day yesterday, so I didn't get to finish it. So Carlos and Jackson are headed outside. Iris and I are gonna be inside trying to get some stuff cleaned up. If she lets me. <laughs> She's like, you're not gonna do nothing, Mama. You're gonna carry me and walk me around. You're gonna give me a tour of the house again. I wish. I wish it's all I could do all day, every day. I don't know if it's because of my height or something, but wearing iris and getting stuff done around the house is just not possible. I I don't know, like I cannot reach anything. These straps keep coming up my shoulders. I can't lean over without her head flopping around too much. My arms are too short to do the dishes. Wearing her is almost more inconvenient than just holding her and walking around the house. I literally feel like I can't do anything when I wear her. Why are you so mad at me? I've been very fussy during the day. I have not figured out what the problem is. It's okay. The boys are outside though, starting their work outside. I'm gonna show you guys in a little bit. I was actually wearing her just so I could go outside and show y'all what they're up to. It is awfully chilly out, but I'm gonna show y'all what the boys are up to. I got socks on her, but she probably needs a beanie. Okay, we're just out here for a little bit. So, we're working on a new trampoline. The dogs ripped up all of the weed blocker prior to this, so Carlos had to put all new weed blocker. And then this time we're covering it with rubber mulch that we got from Costco. And hopes it just looks nicer under here, because we are planning on leaving this trampoline. You hard at work? She was older to help me. <laughs> Little older, and he'd be able to carry those bags for you. <laughs> what are you working on? Oh, wow. Wow, let's see. So, what's your job here, Jackson? <laughs> to grab the rubber mulch and to put it in your dump truck. His job is supposed to be, I dump a bag in these edges, you're supposed to grab it. Spread it out? Spread it out to the middle. <laughs> He looks like he's doing a good job of that. He's not supposed to be putting it in a dump truck. You guys wanna know what I'm using? I got these bags at Costco. It's just rubber mulch. Very cool. And the color's supposed to stay good for like 12 years. This is good if you're like doing a playground for the kid. Yeah. Well, I like that he's at least keeping it in the barrier. At least he's not like transporting it yeah, out. Yeah, if he was transporting it out here, I'd be like, no, you need one <laughs> That'd be a deal breaker. At least he's keeping it inside. So a lot of my last minute cleanings will be happening like tomorrow and Saturday. But for today, I mostly wanted to work on just making sure we had spaces cleared and be clear. Because when I clean, I'm going to clean it all up. But I, there's no sense in me... <laughs> no sense in me cleaning right now. So we're going to work on clearing out the laundry room. That's our goal for today. So everything in the laundry room pretty much has to go to the garage. It'll be like opened up at least. So all of this needs to go. 
Everything on top. Um, everything on top of here needs to find a home as well. Yeah, you hear this? And most of this. Are you hearing this? Your, your job is? <laughs> you clear out all this stuff today. You, you need to start helping out around here. I don't know, a freeloader. And that has to go to the garage too, please. All right, you ready? All right, Iris, right, come on. And go. Ready? <laughs> Too bad. I think I'll find a home for this, but I just don't have one yet. All we have left in here is the dog stuff, which will be gone because they're gonna be boarded, obviously. And a cute little boy. Not too bad, right? Whoa. Yeah? Oh, a bird. A plane. <gasps> Wait, no, it's just a light. I played that joke on him. <laughs> I played that joke and he's recreating it. I said, look, a bird, a plane. Oh wait, it's just the lights. <laughs> All right, let's keep moving. We're making good progress today, everybody. I'm exhausted though. Okay, so Jackson, he loves reading this book with me. It's different with mom, but with me, he loves it. He brings me this book all the time and he wants me to read it for him right now. You ready? You read it? Yeah. All right then, just don't push the button. Okay, Jackson? He's a little crazy with this book. <laughs> all right, Jackson, let's read. Ready? It says, don't push the button. Don't push the button. <laughs> I haven't okay. even started yet. <laughs> this is too much. I haven't even started the book yet. I just read the title. All right, Jack. <laughs> All right. So it says, hi, my name is Larry. Welcome to my book. There's only one rule. Don't push the button. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Seriously, don't even think about it. <laughs> it does look pretty nice. So I wonder. I wonder what I wonder what I You're gonna let him win like this, sweetie? It takes a while to read this book, sorry. I wonder what would happen even if we pushed it. Alright, turn the page, turn the page, turn the page. No, we can't. We must it we must it. No one is looking, Jackson. You should give the button one little push. One little push. You understand? One little push. There you go, good job. It's like, ah, no, I'm yellow. Push it again. There you go. Ah, now there's two of me. Push it a bunch of times. Push it again, a lot. Oh, it's holding it down. <laughs> oh, uh -oh. no. There's a lot of Larry's now, Jackson. Poke it out, Larry. Purple Larry, blue Larry, yellow Larry. Hurry, shake the book to get rid of all the extra Larry's. Because that page is ripped out. Oh, yeah, he ripped that out. Sorry. You gotta shake the book. Shake, shake it. The book. Shake, shake, shake the book. it. Shake it. Shake it. All right, guys. So it is the next day. So I'm getting some stuff done inside the house. And the boys are actually outside getting some stuff done. I just got this in the mail, though, which I needed this for Missy's house. I got a new monitor for the kids. Um, I don't know if you guys have like known this, but I have gone through several monitors and they don't work in this house. I think it has something to do with the connection, has something to do with a Wi-Fi problem. So I finally decided to not get a Wi-Fi one, which I haven't done since our last home. So this is the VTech one, Missy recommended it. And so far it's been working. I need it because I need to be able to watch Jackson at Missy's house. And then actually here, I'd like to be able to watch Iris sometimes. Cause we actually have a camera on Jackson that just always works and that's not an issue. But I wanted to be able to get something on Iris for when she is upstairs sometimes, especially at night when we put her down before we go to bed. So this hopefully will work. For some reason I have really bad luck with these cameras. But anyways, I'm gonna work on clearing my desk off right here. I did good for a little bit and then you know, slowly more stuff has accumulated. So let me just clear this up real quick, clean it up. 
I'm so close, I'm so excited. I feel like we're finally at like the finish line for like getting the house done. It just feels like a really long drawn out process because really I've been waiting for like today and tomorrow to like actually do everything. So I'd like to put all of Jackson's toys away, but I think I'm gonna have to wait until tomorrow evening because he still plays with them obviously and I don't wanna leave him with nothing. So I'll probably wait, but I might try to put them away, but not like actually put them away. I don't wanna like be too mean. I'm gonna put her down because I just feel like she won't take a good nap. So I'm gonna hang out for a little bit and then I'm gonna start making like an early dinner. I'm gonna make a really easy meal. It's cream of chicken over rice, except that I home make the cream of chicken. And it's so easy. I thought I'll show you guys how I make it because it's really simple and easy and delicious dinner you can make for your family. Of course, all you need is chicken as well, which I have raw chicken. I'm gonna boil and shred up. But you can easily use a rotisserie chicken if you have that. But since we are home, we're trying to use up like all of our food and like eat everything in our fridge before we leave. So I have no choice but to use the raw chicken. But it's a super easy meal and everyone always loves it. I gotta wait for the little lady to wake up. I just want her to take a decent nap. If I put her down, she'll just wake up. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys how to make my cream of chicken. It's super easy. First, you start with two cups of chicken broth. Boom, we're gonna let that boil real quick. I've already got my chicken shredded and boiled. I've already got rice made. All we're waiting on is the cream of chicken part. And a fussy baby. I'm gonna make the other part over here, which is one and a half cups of milk. Half cup of that, some flour, some garlic powder in here, Italian seasoning, pepper, and some onion powder, and a little bit of salt. I'm gonna mix this together, and then I'm gonna throw it in here. And that's pretty much all it takes to make the cream of chicken. You can add half and half instead of milk if you want, or you could substitute and add like a little heavy cream to your milk. It kind of like equal parts would make the half and half. I'm gonna grab you right now. All right, I'm gonna slowly add this. And I know I'm using the wrong whisk, so I'm gonna switch it before everyone freaks out. And we're gonna just let this like cook for a little bit and thicken up. Once it thickens, I'm gonna throw in my chicken and bada bing, bada boom. I'm gonna a little bit of heavy cream. You gotta use it anyways. Lightly boiling and it'll thicken up into a nice creamy. And then you can add what seasonings you want. I'm gonna put some stuff away while I wait. It's already starting to thicken up a little bit. I'm gonna turn off the heat when I feel like I'm ready. Let's give it a little try though. Mmm. Oh. You never will go back to a canned creamy chicken after this, I promise. This is the way to do it. All right, so I turned it off the heat. It's still boiling a little bit. I threw in my shredded chicken. I just threw in as much chicken as I wanted. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, it's so hot. Oh, it's so perfect though. That is absolutely perfect. I'm gonna take off the heat. Now, what did you put on top of it? I put a lot of cayenne pepper. Cayenne pepper. This is really yummy with like a little sprinkle of cayenne pepper or a lot depending on how you want it. And it is one of the, it's like, okay, for me this is a childhood meal, but this is just a all around just delicious, easy meal. Jackson, you want to come eat? No, I'm busy. He's poking holes he in a box. He says I'm busy. <laughs> He's poking holes in a box with, a, screw dri with a screwdriver. You want to eat? No, I'm busy. All right, let me know. Worth it, it's so good. Worth it. Mm. This is the best meal ever. I actually made this meal because my mom made it and I was really jealous. Yeah, they were on the point of the of cast. Like, I really want it. I'm I like, was just like, not I'm happy. I'm like, we have chicken breast in the fridge. If you want to make it tomorrow. Mm. Mm. 
I'm glad she did. Oh my gosh, it's the best meal ever. Mm. I'll have the recipe for the creamy chicken down below. But all it is is rice, chicken, the creamy chicken homemade, and that's it. And the best meal ever. fell asleep like this she's so sensitive but it's officially bedtime <laughs> she was being so fussy and then she just like stopped and then fell asleep on the bed she's like the coolest baby ever i swear for bedtime she's just so cool i don't know she's been asleep like this now for like 30 minutes just, just hanging out we have to put her in her sleep so i can bring her upstairs i mean just look at that she's so Cute. And you're about to piss her off Ooh. by Ooh. moving her. I know. I have to get her up. It's okay. We have to. We have to do. What we gotta do. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, she's awake. No, you're not. You're sleeping. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and bring her upstairs and put her down for bedtime. So we're going to end today's vlog. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, smash that thumbs up button. We'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.